guys, it's Soundwave Jordan here, and today we're going to be talking about the new announcement that Airship Syndicate just made today. Now, it was, now this, announce, this announcement, wow. this announcement was first made very early this morning, I'll say like around 12 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time, according to the Game Informer article. And, you know, it, it's um, I, I made a video about this, I'll leave a link in, in the description um, and in the side of the video as well, if you guys want to check it out. But I made a video about this regarding the announcement of what Airship Syndicate, the ex-developers of Dark of the Darksiders series, what they're what what they're gonna be working on. And um, they he dropped like um, the creator of the Dark Sider series dropped a small tease. They just showed a picture of a sword and you know today is the day where he fully reveals what he's been working on. Now you know I'm here to talk about it with you guys um Airship Syndicate once again they are the ex developers of the Dark Sider franchise and most of you do know um, I do like I do adore the Dark Siders franchise a lot. And you know, yeah, I, I was talking about that in my previous video. So once again, I will be leaving the, pre the link to my previous video in the description and the, inside the video as well. So let's go on to the article. This is a. Uh, before I go on to it though, there's you know there here it goes right here. This is the full image. At first it was just a sword, but now it's showing a man behind it. My man looking at the sword on some type of rock or cliff, whatever, inside of a forest. Anyways, let's go, shall we? Um, update, update. Darksiders creators officially announced Battle Chasers game and comic. Dark, no, no, let's actually go on. Update. Uh, update. Darksiders creators officially announced Battle Chasers game and comic. We're going to look at the original story before we look at the update. Original story. An email went out recently to those who signed up for Airship Syndicate's newsletter with a larger version of a previously shown image, and it strongly suggests Battle Chasers. The original image, which you can see here, was recently tweeted out by Darksiders creator Joe Madura and showed only the sword. The new image seen above is larger, full resolution, and shows a silhouette figure in the bottom right corner. Many are speculating that the person is Garrison, a character from Madura's never-completed comic book series, Battle Chasers. Madura abandoned the comic book ser comic series in 2001 after nine issues to pursue a career in video game design. Added to the speculation that Airship Syndicate is preparing to announce as a Battle Chasers game, Madura offered the following tweet, as well as many other responses that further hint, but don't officially confirm a Battle Chasers announcement. You guys are hilarious. Guess that cat's out of the bag. Don't forget to check out Polygon.com tomorrow for some exclusive Battle Chasers art. Additionally, Madura has also changed his Twitter icon to an image of Garrison. Along the image, the email also reads, The time has come. A storm has arrived. Prepare for battle. See the official reveal tomorrow on Polygon.com at 9 a.m. Um, coast. Uh, wow, I said coast. Um, Central Standard Time. Click the button below to see the warrior who has returned for his legendary. Uh, this one? Okay. To see the legendary who has returned to his legendary league. Airship Syndicate was formed by Madura and other former vigil members like Ryan Stefanelli, who served as producer for Darksiders 2 following the collapse of THQ and Vigil Games. You can find out more about Airship Syndicate by heading here. Now, I talked about Airship Syndicate in my previous video, but like I told you guys, oh, we'll, we'll be leaving it in the description. Anyways, let's check out this Warriors Return to Legendary Blade. Oh, this is just a full image. I'm sorry about that. But this is just a full image of um, the whole thing. This, wow, wow, this looks really, really nice, really nice. Zoom in, wow, it looks, it looks really nice. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. All right, on to the update. Battle Chasers right here. Darksiders creator Joe Madura and his studio made a former Vigil Games have officially announced a game based on Madura's Battle Chasers comic book series. Speaking with Polygon, Madura and Vigil co-founder and Darksiders 2 producer Ryan Stefanelli say the game will be an RPG with a sense of adventure similar to Darksiders. The game will feature Battle Chasers characters like Garrison, Gully, and Cal Calibretto, and Airship Syndicate is targeting the release on PC and consoles. Currently, the studio is seeking fund for the game, though it has not decided exactly what avenues it will use for financing. Regarding the comic, which had famously unpredictable and drawn-out release schedule, Madura had a little announced in terms of publisher or release. He tells Polygon he would like to overhaul, overhaul it at its art and storytelling style has changed over the years, wants to tie up loose ends from the original series, and make sure it ties into the game. And yeah, guys, um, they just announced Battle Chasers. Now, when I, when I first seen this announcement, I was wondering to myself, what on earth is Battle Chasers that this guy, Joe Madura, was working on? And I did a little research by myself, and I, um, here it is right here. Um, yeah, I looked it up on Wikipedia. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it's this comic book, and 
he wrote the whole thing himself. Unfortunately, he didn't complete it since he went into video game design. But, you know, um, I was doing a little research about who are the other characters when they were mentioning about Calibretto, Gully, and these other people. So, you know, um, I will also leave this link, the Wikipedia article link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But here, let me, um, let me, let me read it to you guys if you guys will like. Um, I'm just going to, hmm, what should I read? I'm going to read, I'm just going to read this up here and go towards, go around the characters. Here, let's go. Battle Chasers is an American fantasy comic book series by Joe Madeira, launched in April 1998. It was one of the most popular American comic series in the late 1990s, but suffered from extreme scheduling problems with an average of about six months between issues. Whoa. That's crazy. Holy. Including a delay of 16 months for issue seven. Oh my gosh. Madeira produced a total of nine issues in four years, publishing two or three a year, a pace for which he was criticized. Originally, he originally published by Wildstorm under its cliffhanger imprint, founded by Madura with J. Scott Campbell and Humberto Ramos. The series moved to Image Comics in 2001. The last issue, number nine, was published in September 2001 and had a cliffhanger ending that was never concluded, as number 10, scheduled for November 2001, was never released and Joe Madeira left the comic industry to pursue a career as a video game designer. Wow, that that's actually really crazy, guys. And I, I, I and, um. It, I, I can tell that because it was um I was reading it and I can tell that it bugs him because you know this is just something that he never actually finished and it's unfortunate that you know stuff like stuff like these stuff like these things happen you know like you just can't control them I don't know what was going on exactly but I just know that you know obviously there was having to be some type of trouble considering the fact that it will release about two or three a year and, you know it just eh, it just it's unfortunate. Now let's go on the overview, the publication history. I don't feel like that's necessary, but let's go on the overview, shall we? The story, take, the story takes place in an arcane punk setting. The story stars a quintet of main characters, including a nine-year-old girl named Gully, whose father mysteriously vanished, leaving behind a pair of magical gloves. A, oh, I don't know if I pronounce this word correctly, but I apologize. I'll try my best. A Potridonis warrior named Red Monica tries to enlist Garrison, its swordsman hunted by the death of his wife, to assist in freeing a prisoner, which Garrison turns down. Red Monica accidentally releases four extremely powerful villains during the breakout. Garrison overcomes his grief and joins Gully, the wizard Colon, I mean Nolan, and the towering war golem Calabretto to stop the villain's rampage. So I wonder if I can view this image. Hold on. Let's check this out. Oh, I can't. I can't. I, I really can't. But, um, dang it. Oh, hold on. I was gonna, I'm just going to give you guys a better picture of the characters. Uh, do, 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 so how's everyone day on? Oh, let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is it right here. Um, that's Garrett. Okay, oh, perfect, perfect image. So this is um, oh, I forgot, I forgot her name already. Um, this is Gully, Gully, right? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, yeah. So I believe this is Gully. Um, I can't remember. All right, guys, we're going on another adventure, shall we? Going on another adventure. Doo, doo, doo. Oh my gosh. My typing skills are OP. All right, so. There we go, right here. Okay, so as they were saying in our story, okay, so this is a nine-year-old girl, girly, gully right here in the middle, with the she's the blonde-haired girl with the power gloves right there. Obviously, that's Red Monica. Her uh, she looks extremely seductive. Um, you know, she looks like the type of person she is. Describing her, this is the wizard. What's the wizard name? Oh, I forgot already. Um, this is um, Nolan. So this is Nolan on the left, right here, bottom left, and this is Calabrella War Golem. So there, there he goes right there. And Garrison right there looking like a epic guy in the background with his sword. And yeah. All right, yeah, that looks really darn, pretty, pretty darn cool. Okay, so anyways, let's go. Garrison overcomes his grief and joins Gully, the wizard Nolan, and the towering world Gully Taliban to stop the villain's rampage. All right, so uh, I'm going to read into the characters as well. At the beginning of the series, Garrison is a, is a drunk in despair with the passing of his wife. He is a legendary swordsman and owns a powerful magical sword. Trained in swordplay by Red Monica and mentored by Aramis. From Joe's original concept sketches of the characters, Garrison's sword was able to open similar to the Thundercat's Sword of Omens. 
Gully is a Gully. Gully is a nine-year-old girl who mysteriously vanishes, mysteriously vanishes, leaving a powerful set of magical gloves behind. Through the series, she shares a friendship with Calibretto and Nolan while searching for her father. Calibretto, an outlaw, war go an outlaw, war golem with a very gentle personality, the last of his kind after all the previous war golems were ordered to be destroyed. His arms can fire projectiles. Nolan, a powerful wizard, approximately 500 years old, who takes Gully under his wing. His companion is Calibretto, a war, a war golem. Red Monica, a, vol a voluptuous, oh gosh, a voluptuous bounty hunter who originally trained Garrison and has an apparent history with him. Joe's concept sketch notes refer to her as sort of the Jessica Rabbit of the Battle Chasers world. And yeah, guys, so, you know, I just wanted to give you guys, uh, just wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, um, what, a uh, small little history lesson regarding the Battle Chasers. I, I learned about it just, re just not too long ago. I was, when they first announced this, I was like, what, what's Battle Chasers? So, you know, I decided to do a little research on it and find the Wikipedia article, but bam, right here. Bam, right here. So, you know, guys, um, I'm glad that Airship Syndicate has announced this title. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because, like I said, I'm a big fan of their work with Darksiders and especially with Joe Medora, the lore, how he put it. The, it, it was just extremely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to what he has in store for Battle Chasers. Battle Chasers seems like something he was extremely pa passionate about, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out properly in the end. And that's unfortunate. So, but, you know, um, things looks like he will be able to, looks like he will be able to, you know, resume that dream. Once again, and finally concluding this comic book series he's wanted to do for a while. He's making it into a game, and apparently he's also restarting the comic as well, according to the Game Informer article. So, um, yeah, guys, that's that's excellent. So, you know, uh, for those who are watching and for those who do know about Battle Chasers, if you guys would like to enlighten me, that would be perfect. It seems like it's a very interesting um, franchise, and I would, I would like to definitely get more into it. But um, anyways, guys, that, that's all we have to say. Just wanted to talk to you guys about the announcement that Airship Syndicate slash Joe Madura had announced. And this is it. Battle Chasers. The X Dark Side developers are back, and I'm really looking forward to what they have in store with Battle Chasers. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, thank you. Um, if you guys would like to, leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you feel like you enjoyed my content. And also will enjoy any other future things I may provide. And yeah, guys, uh, once again, I'm going to say once again, once again, um, thank you, and I really appreciate you guys for taking your time and watching the video. And yeah, guys, it looks like we have, something, so we have a new game to follow. So, sweet. Anyways, guys, yeah, this is Soundwave Jordan here. Peace. Late.